three, two, one. We have engine ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying USS F-12 for the United States Space Force. Pitch over program, body range look good. NPU's gone to closed loop. System response looks good. Now 20 seconds into flight. Now this is now completing the pitch over maneuver. Body rates continue to look good. RD-180 throttled down slightly to partial thrust. Response looks good. Now 36 seconds into flight. Atlas V is now passing Mach 1. RD-180 continue to look good in partial thrust mode. Seeing good chamber pressures on all SRBs. And at 49 seconds into flight, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. SRB chamber pressures also look good. Now passing one minute into flight. RD-180 now throttling back up to full thrust as expected. Chamber pressures on the SRBs continue to look good. RD-180 engine operating parameters also look good. Now one minute, 23 seconds into flight, approximately three minutes now remaining in the boost phase of flight. And at this point in the flight, Atlas V now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight. And see SRB chamber pressure is tailing off now. And we have SRB burnout. One minute, 45 seconds into flight. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. And we have jettison of all four solid rocket boosters. Vehicle has gone to closed loop steering. Body rate responses look good. Just past two minutes into flight now. RD-180 throttling down slightly as expected. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. And two minutes now remaining in the boost phase of flight. Atlas V is now 50 miles in altitude, 78 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,000 miles per hour. Two minutes, 40 seconds in. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Vehicle body rates looking good throughout boost phase. And the Centaur Reaction Control System is now pressurizing to flight level. System response looks good. Coming up on three minutes into flight. RD-180 now throttling to maintain a constant 2.5G acceleration limit, seeing good response on the RD-180. Body rates continue to look good throughout boost phase. Now passing three minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Approximately one minute now remaining until BECO. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison and CFLR deck jettison. Vehicles now throttled back up slightly. Engine response continues to look good. And RD-180 now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6G acceleration limit in preparation for BECO. And we have boost phase chill down. Passing four minutes into flight. Vehicle systems all continue to operate nominally throughout boost phase. Body rates continue to look good. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good as it maintains that acceleration limit. standing by for BECO shortly. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff standing by for stage step. And we have good indication of stage separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10 standing by for ignition. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. Centaur has gone to closed loop steering. Body rates continue to look good. 
now five minutes into flight. RL10 chamber pressure continues to look good. Body rates look good. This first burn of today's mission will last approximately six minutes, 18 seconds.